lads and lovelies. Captain Edward von Arkham here, coming to you from on board the MHS Hysteria. We are currently docked in Amsterdam, and I'm just enjoying some peace and quiet while I can. Everything is tranquil and calm at the moment. There might be a slightly different atmosphere later on, but for now, everything is tranquil and calm. I must explain my anticipation. Earlier today, I was taking a stroll through the greenhouse to see how my poultry tree was coming along. They say chickens don't grow on trees, well I'll show them. And I noticed that Elsa's tomatoes were perfectly ripe. And seeing as Elsa was off ship collecting provisions from the market, I decided to take the liberty of collecting them for her. I put them all in a basket and brought them back to her cabin as I'm not allowed in the galley of my own ship anymore. Any which way and how, I wasn't about to wait for her to get back, so I let myself into her cabin. I placed the basket of tomatoes on the shelf above her hammock next to a vase of flowers. Unfortunately, the basket was slightly wider than I had thought, and I accidentally knocked the vase of flowers off of the shelf. Smashed on the floor, Stems and petals and soil everywhere. Butter fingers. Well, I promptly returned to the greenhouse to pick a replacement bouquet. Unfortunately, the greenhouse was entirely vacant of flowers. Apparently, all of Elsa's flowers had reached bloom yesterday, and she had picked them all to arrange in a vase that I had just accidentally smashed on the floor. Oh dear. So I had to find something to replace her lovely flowers, and my brain instantly concocted a solution which, at the time, seemed like a good idea. I would very much like to ask my brain for a refund. I have recently been experimenting with the theory of orchestrated cephalopod camouflage, basically programming squids to blend into any shape and or color that I wish them to. It is a simple matter of manipulating the squid's pigmentation via specifically charged cortical electrodes applied to the brain. I have had promising results in the past. I've managed to program a squid into mimicking a coconut, a soup ladle, a wheel of stilton, and a pair of high-heeled shoes. A pair, mind. So I thought that a bouquet of assorted flowers would be simple. I fetched one of the slippery little cephalopods from the tank in my lab and brought it to Elsa's cabin. I moved the tomatoes from the shelf to the hammock so I would have enough room to operate the pigmentation device. I attached the manipulation electrodes to its brain and set the pigmentation template to match a bouquet of assorted flowers. However, I may have been a wee bit overambitious with the variety of colors. And I may have overloaded the poor thing. And it just might have been that the squid exploded all over Elsa's cabin. And that made quite a mess. But in an almost amusing twist of circumstance, the cephalopodic explosion knocked me off my feet and on to my posterior. And as it happens, said posterior landed in the basket of tomatoes. So to summarize, there was dirt and soil all over the floor, exploded bits of squid all over the wall, and smashed tomatoes all over the hammock. And I'm not going to lie, the change of condition was rather noticeable. I was about to start tidying it all up, when I peered out of the porthole, and I spotted Elsa coming back up the docks on her way back from the marketplace. I simply didn't have enough time to sort it all out, so I snuck away and back to my cabin to enjoy the peace and quiet while I still can. <sighs> well, that was nice while it lasted. Oh, just in time. Well, I must be going until next time. Stay mad by duckies! I try to do someone a favor, and a squid blows up in my face. Story of my life.